current government has done better compared to other governments. So the, in coming during this election, yes. December 7th, you think you will give them the nod to carry on the good works you think they are doing? Yeah. Uh, when you listen to Dr. Baumia, Dr. Baumia is trying to say he will develop the economy through digitization. And I believe so, because I have stayed in a, an advanced world for quite a while. I went to UK to do masters, and everything is digitized. When you want to enter into bars, you use your Oster card to pay your bills. You understand? So there is no, there is no any inconvenience. Compare as in right now, when you enter into church, church sometimes there is debate about our vehicle fares. Mm -hmm. uh, some are saying, oh, you, you are, we are supposed to pay this amount of money. Other two are saying, no, this is the amount of money that you have to pay. So we don't know whether the passengers or the mates or the driver who is cheating uh, the co uh, the, the corporate or the person who is involved in the transportation by when there is a fix or everything is fixed or government have, have approved that this is the amount of money that should be paid for transportation from maybe Accra to Medina and you use your Oster card there will, there will not be any inconvenience or other person might not think the other person have cheated the other. So I think if he is trying to say he is going to make the economy very digitalized, we should give him the nod because for digitization, it can even create jobs for everyone. So basically, we don't need to walk into a government institution to seek for job. Uh, if you are being provided a laptop, you can stay at home and you'll be working in Ghana and even beyond Ghana. So you can be in Ghana and you'll be working for an institution in maybe US or maybe China. So I think digitization will do here yeah, for the next government. I think Bamiya is the best option for me, for my perspective. I think it's the best option because their governance suffered a lot of obstacles or disaster. COVID-19 was a very blow, a very blow. It affected not only Ghana, because when it even, it, there was lockdown, there was lockdown. And you know when there is, there is lockdown, there is no transactions. So people can't do their proper business. Yeah, and COVID, uh, Ukraine, Russia were also affected us because Russia is one of the leading producers of oil and gas and uh, Ukraine too is the leading producer of wheat and rice you understand so their their disaster affected the world globally so I think Dr. Baumia and Dr. Ousu Prempe, Dr. Upoku Prempe should be given the nod so that they will help Ghana reach the goal that we want Ghana have to be developed Eh? Last time I was listening to one uh, CEO of Mineral Resources. He said Ghana is about uh, elections mm -hmm. and gold. And it's true. Okay. Yeah, the gold and those both sides that we have, I think within 10 years or so, we should be in a very developed zone. You understand? So, that yeah. 10 years yeah. under this government. Yeah. Under this next government, this Dr. Baumia and Dr. Napo, era ghana should be developed we shouldn't be developing we should be developed you understand because uh, uh, factors that makes country developed ghana have the resources to do that so it's left with good leaders yeah because most times uh, things that prevent uh, a country from developing is one corruption bribery and corruption that's one of the main factors you understand because when you pick mineral resources some people struck a uh, smuggle cocoa gold and uh, especially gold gold you can put it in your pocket you don't have to go and hang car you don't have to hang car to smuggle gold you understand so when we can find means to limit corruption i think 
the, the next step is being Ghana being a, a developed country. See something bad? Speak up. For democracy to work, we all need to hold elected officials accountable. So post, tweet, share your concerns and add the hashtag UseYourVoice. Join the Use Your Voice campaign today and let's make Ghana great and strong. We are your election command center.